That's a big hit. Gets it off the track, and I got to say, though, running these composite bodies, Michael, I, you don't know what it did to the car really until they get a chance to get it in the garage and evaluate it. But not as much damage as I would have thought looking at the car based on how hard that hit was. Yeah, but there's suspension issues. He's bent that right front uh, suspension pretty severely. I'm sure, the rear end housing's knocked out from underneath of it. So they will definitely go to a backup car there, Adam. And as he gets into turn three, just it looked like maybe a little free on entry and he couldn't crank it down to the bottom. Let's see if we can see anything else there. Let's, we, we've seen it. See how he's got it cranked to the right there, trying to hold on to it. We saw issues yesterday with guys skittering their front tires, getting on the brakes too hard and locking up a left front. That would put them in the outside wall. That just looked like a situation where the car was loose when he turned in. Looks like Elliott Sadler is going to have company at the back of the field when this race goes green later today. Second junior motorsports vehicle to fight adversity. Sadler had the engine problem yesterday. Now Tyler Reddick slapping the wall in qualifying. So we've got the red flag out, which means we stop the clock with 2 minutes 37 seconds remaining in round one. Just thinking about the strategy of waiting to go out late, Michael. Is there a thought process if you make a run late? 